If you or your child has an overbite, you may have had an orthodontist recommend a Herbst appliance. In this video, we're gonna tell you what a Herbst appliance is, how it works, we'll go over all the details you need to know, plus show you some before and after pictures of some actual patients who had a Herbst appliance. So let's get started. Thanks for checking out our video all about Herbst appliances. And as a reminder, we release braces related content every week. So make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content and information regarding braces. So a Herbst appliance is an orthodontic device that is used to help fix overbites. Most Herbst appliances are designed to be cemented on the teeth. While the design of the Herbst appliance may vary a bit, most will have three key features. They'll have metal bands or caps that are cemented on the top teeth. They'll also be cemented onto the lower molars or lower bicuspids. And then there will be metal arms that are attached from the upper part of the appliance to the lower part of the appliance. And depending on the design of the Herbst appliance, there may be some other features built into the appliance as well, including supporting wires to help stabilize the metal bands or possibly an expansion appliance to help widen the upper teeth. So what exactly is a Herbst appliance used for? A Herbst appliance is used to fix overbites and it's typically meant for younger, growing patients. So when a child has an overbite, meaning that the top teeth stick out too far compared to the lower teeth, a Herbst appliance might be recommended. A Herbst appliance is most effective when a patient is still growing, so usually during the pre-teen or early teen years. Also, if a patient has a retrusive lower jaw or the lower jaw is set too far back compared to the upper jaw. So keep in mind that there are many different ways that overbites can be fixed and many different treatment options. So just because your child has an overbite doesn't necessarily mean that the Herbst appliance is the best treatment option for them. An orthodontist will consider all these factors when determining if a Herbst appliance is the best option for your child. So next, let's talk about how a Herbst appliance is installed. Some parents may be worried that getting a Herbst appliance installed will be painful or uncomfortable. However, installation of a Herbst appliance is a routine procedure that's relatively simple with very little discomfort. Prior to having a Herbst appliance installed, the orthodontist may place spacers between the teeth. These spacers are designed to make room for the bands of the Herbst appliance to easily slide between the teeth. So if the teeth already have sufficient space, then the spacers may not be necessary prior to installing the Herbst appliance. At the appointment that the Herbst appliance is installed, the orthodontist or orthodontic technician will first verify that the appliance fits properly. This simply means that the appliance fits onto the teeth and it's comfortable. Once the fit has been verified, orthodontic cement will be placed into the bands, then the bands will be placed over the teeth. Once the orthodontic cement is set completely, the orthodontist or orthodontic technician will then insert the arms of the Herbst appliance. These are usually attached using a small wrench that securely attaches the Herbst appliance arms to the bands. So next, let's answer the question, does a Herbst appliance hurt? A Herbst appliance generally doesn't hurt when it's placed, but during the first week you may feel a bit of discomfort as you first get adjusted to the Herbst appliance. The most common problem with a Herbst appliance is that it may make your cheek sore for a time. This especially happens if you sleep on one side and put pressure on your cheek all night long. If you have trouble with your cheek getting sore, you can ask your orthodontist for a small cotton triangle that will act as a barrier and hold your cheek away from the appliance while you sleep. These cotton triangles are called dry angles. Dry angles are used in dentistry to help keep the teeth dry while dentists perform different procedures. And these small cotton triangles can also be used to keep the cheek away from the Herbst appliance at night in the event that any irritation occurs. But usually after the first week or two, patients get used to their Herbst appliance and generally don't have any problems to speak of. Your cheeks adapt quickly and most patients don't have any long-term problems with the Herbst appliance. So you may be wondering how long you need to wear a Herbst appliance. Treatment length will vary a bit depending on each patient's age and the severity of the bite correction needed. But generally speaking, most patients will wear a Herbst appliance between eight and 12 months. At Premier Orthodontics, our usual protocol is to, first we place a Herbst appliance by itself for about three to six months. And once ready, we will add top braces while keeping the Herbst appliance in place. When the bite correction is complete, and usually this is between eight and 12 months of having it in, we'll then place lower braces and continue upper and lower braces for an additional 12 to 18 months. Next, we're gonna show a couple of patients that had a Herbst appliance and show you their before and after photos. You can see from this first photo that the patient had a large overbite and a retrusive lower jaw. After 12 months with a Herbst appliance and braces, you can see that her overbite was completely corrected and she had a big improvement to her profile as well. The next patient had a similar treatment with Herbst appliance and braces. And you can see that her overbite was resolved entirely and she got a great result from her treatment as well. You may be wondering how you can clean your teeth with the Herbst appliance in place. So thanks to modern orthodontic technology, the Herbst appliance is now a pretty small appliance. 
The downside is that it has several small parts that may lead to many places for food particles to get stuck. It will require a little more cleaning than maintenance than your child may be used to. Here are the steps one should take to make sure the Herbs appliance stays clean. You need to brush thoroughly and regularly. The toothbrush is still the best tool when it comes to cleaning. Make sure to scrub the teeth as well as the appliance itself. After brushing, look closely at the appliance and see if there are any food particles remaining. Next, you'll need to floss around the bands of the appliance. There are several metal bands that will be placed on the teeth, so do your best to floss between these teeth. It might feel a bit awkward at first with the different parts of the appliance, but with practice, you should be able to get used to it. You can also use a water pick to thoroughly clean around the appliance. A water pick is a great tool to clean around hard to reach areas and to clean between the teeth. The water pick is nearly as effective as floss when it comes to cleaning the gums. So if you're gonna be wearing a Herps appliance for several months, a water pick is a good investment to make. If you think your child has an overbite and may benefit from a Herps appliance, the best place to start is by getting a free consultation with an orthodontist in your area. If you're living in the Phoenix, Arizona area, we would love to see you for a 100% free consultation. At this consultation appointment, we'll discuss the best way to fix your or your child's overbite and answer any other questions you may have. If you have any questions about Herps appliances, feel free to ask them in the comments section below and we'll do our best to answer them. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a like. Also make sure to subscribe to our channel for more braces related content, make sure to tap that bell for notifications. Thank you so much and we'll talk to you soon.